everyone welcome guys welcome hey dean welcome dean welcome hey lewis welcome lewis welcome hey joe welcome joe hey gary welcome gary welcome all right guys uh let's get started um we have a lot of information to go through uh this evening i'll try to uh keep us on schedule all right um but we do have a lot of information to go through all right um let's start with um uh, the equity markets uh equity markets made a nice push higher today retraced all right i think the dow was down, uh, up um uh what's that uh 86 points hey daryl welcome daryl welcome uh what's up 86 86 points um nasdaq was up s p was up and the russell was up also all right so a good price action um things like i said retraced a bit but still holding uh vix look at the vix guys uh 13 uh 54 so that's great for the vix um hopefully we can get lower than that right but uh that's great great for the vix all right any a number remember a number below 20 is bullish all we needed to do is to to hold below 20 the lower this number gets the more bullish um the markets um will become equity markets all right we've got um most of the um uh, the sectors are up except for uh, biotech utilities and healthcare uh but uh, you can certainly uh trade um all of the sectors all right all of the sectors all right um let's go into so that's the market market is still healthy um let's talk about um the futures market all right futures um crude oil all right so we're seeing a lot of crude oil guys um in monster futures all right so um look for opportunities our futures traders right uh look for opportunities in um crude oil all right um so crude oil um is perhaps the best trade right now we do have a trade in the s p all right so the s p and uh, that's a move there a cattle feeder and we'll go through the positions that we we currently have um but cattle feeder, feeder here's s p um, but definitely crude oil is all over this all right all over this all right so a lot of crude oil um as far as shorts um no no we don't see any any um the vix you know there is some vix here all right um but no big we don't see any um uh any particular um um uh, futures that's uh, really standing out okay so but crude oil long crude oil long um uh, that's the trade uh the us 30 all right nice move uh those of you who took that us 30 trade uh good job i know it retraced a bit i, I heard from some of you right do i still need to hold the the the, the us 30 trade absolutely absolutely okay buy signal was right here guys on a break of this resistance buy signal right here all the way up here all right so still in this trade doing well we anticipate a breakthrough resistance now we do have some resistance here so keep that in mind all right and that might might be well you know the market the market was up i believe um 300 a little over 300 points i believe is is, is how high it got up to uh and it retraced a bit to 80 86 so that's that pullback here but still holding good the what we're looking for on the us 30 is a breakthrough guys this resistance and we're close to it we actually got um above it right but it did it retraced back and so we didn't close that would have been great to close above this resistance line here but we close a bit lower and that's fine all right we still have green candles and the the goal is for the us 30 is finally breakthrough all right if that happens hold on to your position you guys should have seen a nice move today all right a nice pop today so um we can we can certainly see um additional moves all right in the us 30 so nothing nothing has changed with the price action just a bit of a pullback 
All right, but price action is still holding. Um, the NAS, we send out our first trade in the NAS, right? The NAS 100. All right, hopefully our um, uh, our new NAS 100 traders got on this trade. We were look looking for a break out of this triangle right here. This is where sellers came in before, all right? Where this buy signal failed, this buy signal failed, right? And we got a nice triangle here. Finally, this buy signal here broke out in a big way, okay? So um, that's great for the NAS 100, all right? That's on the 60 minute, but guess what? Look at the daily time frame, guys. And on the daily time frame, those of you trading, all right, now with the with the NAS 100, um, just hold on to that trade on that 60 minute because guess what? Look what we've got here, all right? We're looking, we're right at resistance. And you guys know, right, buyers will sometimes really get in strong on this break of resistance, okay? So I just hold on tight. I know, I know that NASDAQ, right? That that NAS 100 really moves, so just hold hold on tight, um, hold firm to your trades. All right, um, uh, we didn't take this trade here. We'll start trading this. I'm thinking next week. All right, the S and P. So we'll start sending trades um out to our um S and P traders. S and P 500, SP 500, great trade here. Um, but we didn't send that out. All right, all right. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's go through um, the systems and the current positions um, that we're in. Uh, we'll start with uh, the futures market. All right. We'll start with the futures market. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. So these are long positions, long positions in the futures market. All right, that's the oats trade. Oats, all right, the oats trade, O A T S. Buy signal is here, trading all the way up here, moving nicely. The goal was to break resistance. And guys, it finally broke resistance. All right, gapped up, looking good. All right, uh, the next one here is that live cattle trade. Believe it or not, that live cattle trade is still doing well. Okay, so buy signal was right here, right? Hell support, right? Here it is right now, moving higher, looking to break uh, the highs right here, all right? Uh, the next trade right here is crude oil, all right? Crude oil, like I said, we just added this one here. Crude oil, buy signal right here, all right? Um, and let's see here, all right? So a decent markdown phase. We got pretty good support right here. We look for this to move higher. All right, and uh, let's see here. And um, soybeans, that soybean trade, guys, is still holding. All right, buy signal here. All right, struggling a bit, but guess what? Still, yellow support and resistance lines, all green candles, nice markdown phase. If anyone is in it, just hold on to the trade. All right, hey, Solomon, welcome, welcome, Solomon. All right, so those are the longs. Uh, in our futures in system, monster futures. And we do have one short. Let's take a look at it. And then we'll go right into um, uh, Forex. All right, the short we've got in the futures market, in monster futures, uh, is gold. All right, gold. I would keep an eye on this, guys. All right, if you guys look here, um, we we're hoping that this would really start to move lower, but it's not. I can't really get a good trend line here. All right, but um, look here, All right? This sell signal, sell short signal failed. We always have to pay attention to how the system is trading. And um, right now, I would say keep an eye on if we get a, we have a white candle here. All right, so we might have to do a buy to cover. I would wait on this candle if you're in it. If you're in it, just get out, right? We'll hold it here, you know, we'll follow the process here. But if you're in it, you could get 
a green candles white candle here white candle here you get a green candle like this guess what all of a sudden you're not in profit anymore so if you got in here at that um uh, sell short signal you should still be in profit i would say close that trade we have pretty good support right um yeah so tough trade in here but this might set up for a good long for a good long all right uh, equity markets are moving higher all right crude so things are things are moving in different directions we'll see what gold does all right um, but it looks like it wants to move higher all right all right uh four x let's talk about four x the best trade right now or your short right so in um monster scalper monster scalper right we'll take a look at the short positions in monster scalper all right the short trades in monster scalper all right so uh swiss yen sell short signal is here holding nicely we need you guys see here we have a white candle right here white candles right here we need sellers to come back in red candles continue this move down lower okay um you know we had some really good trades on the upside right you guys know this we had some really good trades long so now they're retracing hopefully right they'll um, move lower in the markdown phase a uh, new zealand yen sell short signal is here trading nicely there in the markdown phase you, uh, euro yen hopefully you guys we've been all over these yen pairs so hopefully um our monster scalper traders um you've taken positions and you're holding hold on to these trades guys hold on to this trade okay um so euro yen sell short signal is here that's holding uh pound yen pound yen sell short signal is here we do have a, so a short signal in monster yen which is the pound yen all right so we do have a sell short signal on that system all right but um monster scalper sell short signal here all red candles looks good all right that's pound yen and we love to trade pound yen when we can right when we get the opportunity uh sgd jpy that's your singapore yen sell short signal all the way up here look at this all right so be make sure you guys are in these yen pairs all right too late now to get in right too late now to get in but hopefully you got in when we call those signals and your system gave you those signals okay um cad yen i know some of you guys were in cad yen all right great trade here going short with cad yen stay in these trades i can't say that enough all right stay in these trades do not get out and take premature profits all right unless only you can have a core position right and take some positions along with it but your core position could should stay all right we want to capture these runs all right so that's cadian sgd jpy another one here sell short signal is here look at this N a nice falling knife guys we should be all over these trades zayen zayen that trade closed all right so i saw this earlier i was surprised looks like the uh, czar pairs wants to do their own thing all right but sell short signal is here big green candle came in sell signal here to get out so either with a little loss here all right or if you got in on the second can green candle here you took a little larger loss but get out of this trade all right get out of this you have previous sell short signals didn't work out so get out of this trade it might be setting up for long later okay so czar yen will remove that try jpy sell short signal is here that's moving down nicely and we're starting to see some uh short opportunities in the dollar pairs right in the dollar pairs that dollar index guys if you look here dollar index all right is getting ready to break support look at this dollars back at 100 and we got pretty good support here keep an eye on the dollar keep an eye on the dollar as as the equity markets move higher we could see the dollar move lower so we have a sell short signal in the dollar and it's right there you guys can see that there right it's right there at support right here all right so close today at one uh 119 no that's a psychological number if it breaks through that 100 mark we could see traders really jump in 
and short the dollar, move it much, much lower. All right. So those those yen, those dollar pairs that we're in. All right. Ex, you know, just sh you know, stay in those trades. USD PLN sell short signal is here. That's moving nicely down. Broke support here. Uh, dollar czar. Right. Sell short signal is here. Great trade going here with the dollar. Two your two best trades right now. Short the yen. Short the dollar. All right. Forget about what could happen. What might happen. Those are the best trades you got right now in Forex. Uh, USD dollar CZK, sell short signal right here. Look at this, guys. Look at these moves here. Great moves. All right. Even our US 30 traders, all right, and now our NAS 100 traders, I know those those are ex some exciting. <laughs> I know those systems are very exciting, but you also have, right, you also have monster scalper and some of you have monster scalper and forex dominator okay we want to trade all those systems okay we want to trade all those systems all right all right a uh, usd especially when things are running when they're not running that's fine but when 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 we have you know selling like this guys basically a falling knife in the yen and the the dollar pairs we want to be all over those all right uh usd cnh Sell short signal is here, moving down nicely. Uh, dollar CAD, sell short signal is here, right, moving down. And USD HUF, sell short signal here, nice move lower. We do have some new picks that came out. So um, we won't go over those. I want to spend some time on equities. So we won't go over new picks. We'll send those out later, though, uh, to um, later this evening to our Monster Scalper and Forex. Um, uh, dominator uh, traders okay so uh, just look out for those all right all right very good um now for um keep an eye on um forex dominator right on we had some uh trades right in that system forex dominator dollar and yen we've been talking about perhaps trimming positions closing positions and I would close positions even on a white candle. All right. I wouldn't wait for a red candle. <coughs> so let's go through those. All right. So USD CNH. All right. Um, buy signal here. And this is a good trade for lots of pips. All right. Lots of pips there. All right. So I would say close this trade. Now we, we're living in here. All right. But if you're in it, just close it. Take profits, all right? We have pretty good resistance right here. All right, really good resistance right here. This is where sellers came in before. Move that price all the way down, all right? And here we are again. So there's a good chance. And we saw what the dollar, the dollar index is doing, all right? So if that dollar index breaks support, all right, guess what? USD CNH will move lower. All right. So if you're in it, like I said, we'll keep it in here. But if you're in it, close the trade, take profits on a white candle. You can do that. All right. Uh, USD HUF. All right. Dollar pair right here. Guess what? Buy signal is here. Red candle. Uh, let's get out of that. All right. Uh, we don't have a lot of dollar pairs um, in um, long in in. Uh, Forex Dominator. We do have some yen pairs though. Okay. So same with the yen pairs. CAD yen. See here. Buy signal here. Red candle still in lots of profit here. So close this trade. Red candle. Close that trade. Okay. Uh, that's CAD yen. And we short, you should be shortening it um, in um, um, Forex Dominator. Um, Swiss yen. Swiss yen, guys. Buy signal here. It's holding. I would keep an eye on it, right? If it gives it gives a, a white candle, just close the trade. And you still, even if you close the trade anywhere, you get a white candle anywhere up in this, still lots of profit. Bought here, gonna close it up this area. So Swiss yen, we'll hold that for now. All right. Um, Euro yen, same thing, white candle. If you're in it, I would close it. All right. I would close it. If the dollar index holds, all right. Um, but guess what? This is not a dollar. This is a this is a euro, uh, a euro yen. So just just keep an eye on it. 
All right. I wouldn't say close it. You could. You could close it, take profits. Listen, this is for a lot, lots of pips here. That's a lot of pips. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. Our pound yen. All right. Same thing. We got a white candle coming in here. If you look here, these green candles, lower highs, lower lows. Okay. Buy signal is here. So um, I wouldn't blame you if you took some profits off the table there. All right, SGD, JPY, that's a sell signal. So red candle, sell signal by your system, right? White arrow here for sell, blue arrow for buy, that's your trade here, all right? So uh, good trade in there, all right? Um, if you were to, if you got out on the white candle, you would save some pips there, all right? All right, so we'll get rid of that one there. Uh, pound Aussie, pound Aussie, Pop, bu, bu, the pound pairs are trying to make a move, guys. So finally, pound CAD looks good. Pound HKD looks good, breaking out. Uh, pound New Zealand, all right, that's holding here, right? Pound SGD, look at that, still nice move higher there, all right? So trading well. All right, pound dollar, that's breaking out, finally breaking out. So we're finally starting to see some pretty good price action in the pound pairs. Pound Swiss. Right, bought here, red candle, sell signal by the system, just get out, take your loss, get out. So we'll clean that up there, uh, pound Swiss. And EUR HKD, right, we, we just added that one with a nice buy signal, right, nice buy signal here, and that's moving higher. And then pound dollar, same thing, all right? So, I mean, euro, euro dollar, buy signal here, nice big candle. And then Euro HKD, almost identical, guys. So keep an eye on those Euro. Euro pairs, pound pairs, look like they want to make a move long, all right? And dollar and yen pairs, right, looking to go short, all right? Awesome. Okay. All right. Any questions? Let me know. If there are any um, charts you guys want, any symbols? Uh, let me know also. <clears throat> oh, hey, Gerald. Welcome, Gerald. Welcome. All right. Uh, I want to get into equities. We want to spend some time in equities. We didn't go over Bull Master last night um, as far as um, new opportunities. Um, so I want to spend some time on that. This market is really, really moving, okay? And um, we want to take a look at stocks this evening, okay? Um, these are the current positions in um, Bullmaster, okay? Uh, so as we always do, we look for um, uh, white candles. We want to pay attention to those trades, white candles, all right? Green candles, we let them run, right? Let them run. They're in the markup phase. Uh, red candles, we want to close those trades. All right. And a white sell signal like this, we need to close those trades also. Hopefully, we saw some really good price action today. Hopefully, all of these are right, or most of them should be in all green, nicely in the markup phase. All right. And hopefully, there's nothing to do. All right, so let's go through this. These, we're starting with Bullmaster this evening. These stocks are $10 and higher, all right? $10 and higher. All right, so uh, ACAD, all right? Buy signal here, moving up nicely, all green candles there. All right, let's go through this. And I'll, I'll go through this quickly. All green candles, nothing to do. Look at that. That's Adobe, buy signal here right nice trade going here all right um as this market the vix is coming down so as these markets move higher we'll see the stocks move higher okay all right all right all right recovering nicely look at that all green candles look at that These trades are breaking out. And 
be going on what almost three months now i believe we've been adding positions adding positions and look at that look at these trades guys hopefully you're taking some advantage i know you can't trade all of them but you should be in a few Oh, look at that. Everything is in nicely in the mock-up phase. It's a big difference when the index, the major index is uh, breaking out, right? Um, let's take a look at um, LEGN, white candle. Pay attention to it. All right, nice trend line. I would say when in doubt, go ahead and bring in a trend line here, okay? And that will help you stay in the trade. So just draw a trend line like this here, all right? So, you know, if you get a red candle, stay in, all right? Um, if it breaks, I would say if it breaks support right here, this support line, just get out. But right now, it's, it's, it's trying to hold on, all right? If you're conservative, close the trade, all right, on a white candle. Uh, same with LITE, white candles, pay attention to those. But we're almost halfway done with Bull Master, guys, and we've only had what, how many? Two white candles so far. Everything else, all green, right? All green, really good. And nicely. And as we go through these, you guys will notice look at SKW, SKYW continuing to move higher, right? The goal is, right, these will just continue it in the markup phase. Right, um, they, you know, if you don't have any options on these, they don't expire, so let them run if you trade the underline. All right, so look at this really good price action, guys. Only two out of all of these stocks, very good price action. Very happy with this. All right, we've had to clean some things up in the past with um, uh, when the market was tough uh, a few weeks ago, right. Um, but those that are in there now, they're holding fine, okay? All right, so um, that's uh, bull master uh, stocks that are large caps, $10 and higher. And uh, let's take a look at stock boss now. Uh, stocks that are um, uh, $10, below $10, $10 and lower. All right, so we should expect the same type of price action, all right, where these stocks are holding, okay? So our stock boss traders, bull master traders, just remember to go through go through your system, all right? You can trade several. You know, we have traders who will trade 30, 20, 30, 40 stocks, all right, especially in stock boss, all right, and can manage those um, relatively um, um, effectively, all right? I wouldn't say easy. But just go through them, all right, once a day, just like I'm doing here. And just make sure you've got green candles. As long as you have green candles, you can stay in, okay? Look at this. Nice price action in stock box also. Look at that. And we'll keep adding as the market Holds and you know improves the equity market. We'll keep adding um, as long as we're getting trades from Hit Seeker. Right. No white candles yet. All right, here is one. Spoke too soon. Uh, H U Y A white candles, but it's holding support there. So just keep an eye on that one there, guys. Nice price action. that one there so all of these we got this near the buy signal so you guys see you can see how they're moving away up right from that buy signal look at this one here buy signal was here right here all the way up here now so you can tell that they're definitely moving all right this one here buy signal was here Price action all the way up here, okay? All right, and we're almost done. Oh, here's a second one here, second white candle, all right? S-O-U-N, S-O-U-N, 
why candles? But guess what? They're holding it right at support there. Okay. So no big deal. Look at this one here, TMC. Look at that move, guys. All right. Pretty exciting. Uh, look at this one here, VRM. All right. Buy signal was here. We got out, got back in right here on that break of resistance right here. And look at it right here. The buy signal, I think we got in at 98 cents. It's at 244. All right. It's where it closed today. Okay. So uh, good trade in there. All green candles. All right, so that's it. We had two, I believe, two white candles in Stock Boss. Uh, incredible. All right, and about the same in Bull Master. So definitely holding the trades well. All right, definitely holding the trades well. Um, let's go right to um, Stock Boss. And so let's look for new opportunities. All right, when the market is like this, stocks are holding like this. We can definitely look for new opportunities, all right? When things are down, we want to just be careful on those down days, add in more, okay? All right, so let's go to Stock Boss. Again, if there's a symbol you guys want me to take a look at, we can certainly do that. But I do want to get through um, these uh, stocks for you guys, okay? All right, so we'll start with, uh, because we didn't go through Bull Master last night, we'll go through Bull Master this evening. Uh, remember, we do, we're doing an update um, uh, with update upgrade with um, some of the systems, okay? We add in multiple charts, a second chart, right, um, uh, on your screen here. So we'll do those next week, all right? It's been a busy week, but we'll, we'll get to those next week. All right, so you, uh, our bull master traders, you'll notice we have two, two, two um, um, charts here. Um, weekly on the bottom, daily. Our trading window is on the daily. We're looking for confirmation and foundation on the um, on the weekly time frame. Okay, all right, all right. So let's run bull master, and we've got one fifteen. Not bad. All right. So we were 20, I think 27 or so. Um, so not bad. We're looking for a, a buy signal on the day, and we need that weekly time frame. Um, we would like to see if we can get a white candle, a big white candle on that weekly time frame. That's good. All right. If we get a green candle, and a, that's good. If we can have a, if we have a buy signal on the weekly time frame down here, that's even better. Okay, if we've got red candles, we're going to pass on that trade. All right, red candles down here, we're going to pass on that. Okay, all right. So let's go through these. And we're looking for a buy signal um, that came in today. <clears throat> Let's bring this here. Let's get more data here. All right, much better. All right, nice markdown phase. All right. Hey, Tylak, welcome, Tylak, welcome. Hi, David. Hello, hello. Nice markdown phase, guys. Buy signal right here. All right, that came in today. You know, we're getting it off, a, a bit off that markdown phase, but still nice. It's been trading well, two, two decent trades there. But look here, on the weekly, right, we have a green candle coming in here. A buy signal and a green candle. So we'll, we'll add this one here. A-U-P-H. All right, so A-U-P-H. 
and that is in bull master all right let's keep going all right we're looking for buy signals that came in today most of these will you know we're in already But when you in those already and then you get buy signals on the weekly with green candles, that's really good confirmation, right? Really good confirmation. So that's why we 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 we're gonna we you know we're gonna bring in those weekly time frames, right, and daily time frames, depending on the system. And it doesn't take more time, but it does help with your, your accuracy. Okay. Looking for new buy signals on the daily that came in today. All right, a G O. All right, G O. Let's make sure we're not in it. Remember, this is in Bull Master now. Bull Master, a G O. Let's make sure. All right, we're in G H G M. All right, G O. All right, so. We're gonna go with that. G O go. All right. Um, nice markdown phase. Buy signal came in right here. And guess what? Look at your weekly. Right. Green candles coming in on your weekly. Breaking re breaking resistance here on your weekly. Good support here. Good confirmation. All right. Good confirmation. If this was red candles here, guess what? We wouldn't take this. Good confirmation here. So go. This just will, you know, this will help, just help, right, with the trade when we do this. Okay, so we'll be adding, um, making that change to uh, Bull Master, Stock Boss, uh, Monster, um, monst um, um, uh, Monster Scalper, all right, Forex Dominator initially, and, and then we'll see which other systems we can roll, roll those out to, okay? All right. Oh, Geo is a good one. H A Y W. I think we might be in this one. Uh, no, we're not in this one here. Let's take a look at it. All right. Good markdown phase here. Look at that here. All right. And we got a nice big candle here and a buy signal there. All right. And look at the weekly green candles here coming in. All right, resistance is right here, so we'll add that. H A Y W, and that's in Bull Master. All right, let's keep going. We need buy signals on the daily time frame. If they've gone, the reason we want buy signals on the daily is because if we miss them, it's too late to get in. Okay. <clears throat> NYT. That, that one sounds familiar. N Y T. All right, we're not in this one here. Let's take a look at it. That uh, that's a fairly new. It must be a new IP. A new. Oh, that's the New York Times. Okay. Um. Let's let's take this, guys. All right. Um. We don't have a lot of history here for whatever reason. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Let's go back here on the. Okay. All right. We have data here. We have data here. Okay. Um. So. N Y T, right? Now we're not trading off the of the markdown phase. Remember, we're gonna start taking. Right, this is a reaccumulation, so new buyers are coming in higher, right? So, um, we'll take this here, right? Buy signal, held support. Look at these big green candles coming in on the weekly. Good confirmation. Buy signal here on the daily. All right. So we'll add that in Bull Master. We are halfway there in Bull Master, guys. Let's 
today's trades. Um, let's see here. Don't we're not gonna touch this. Still red candles, right? Right, still a red candles here. Sellers could come back and push this lower, guys. And you know, every time I showed this yesterday, every time you see where these buy signals fail, right? Right, buy signals fail is because of that weekly is on that markdown phase. So we need that weekly to turn up. All right, all right. So all right, uh, you can take a chance on those, but these these are much better trading opportunities. Right, when that weekly. Uh, uh, you know, at least we can, if we can get a white candle at, at a minimum, a white candle on that weekly, that will help, help the trades out a bit. All right. <clears throat> All right. SMG. That's a good looking one there. Let's make sure we're not in it. That sounds for me. After a while, they all sound familiar. Um, S M G. Okay, we're not in it, so we'll add this one. Good markdown phase, guys. All right, good markdown phase. Fair from 240 trading at 71. Um, you know, good for options, call options. And we got a white candle here, right? White candle here on the weekly, clean buy signal here on the daily. So, S M G. Uh, in a uh, bull master. <clears throat> uh, stocks are moving. All right, TPX, TPX. All right, let's take a closer look here. All right, that's a continuation, guys. It's off the markdown phase. All right, pretty good trading in here. All right, we, we're looking for this one to break resistance here. Look at the weekly buy signal came in this week on the weekly time frame, big candle. So hopefully that follows through here. So we'll look for more trades like this. All right, all right, so TPX. As always, just be careful, don't go crazy. You don't want to trade everything you got. Um, a T R E X. I think we've we're in this one already. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, T R O X. We have a decent markdown phase trading near support down here so good support buyers came in buy signal right here and look here look at the weekly all right look at that weekly guys look at that nice white candle here all right we could close the week with a green candle that's very good and good support here on the weekly look at what the weekly did before here all right, so that certainly will help um, the trade on the daily here. Okay, so we'll add this one T R O X. All right, we've got almost 10 in Bowmaster. <clears throat> in buy signals on the day. Uh, let's see here. Uh, a lot of noise, guys. A lot of consolidation. We'll pass on this one. There are better opportunities. All right. W R B Y. Let's make sure we're not in this. All right. So um, look at this. Good one here. All right. Uh, fell from about good risk reward, $55. It's at 13 and change. Uh, it's inexpensive. You can actually trade the underline. Okay. Um, good support down here.
buy signal right here, it's moving higher. And then look at the weekly, all right? Look at the weekly here, all right? Good support, right? White candles coming in, all right? So by the time we get some green candles, that will definitely push, push the daily higher, okay? So um, W-R-B-Y, all right? Not a very good trade, guys. You see here, right? A lot of indecision, right? Traders have no idea where they want to take this price. All right, so we can trade this. And the last one, where we have a few more, uh, why, why? Let's take a look at this. Why, why? A descent markdown phase. Let's make sure we're not in it. Okay, we're not in it, all right? So good markdown phase. It hasn't gone far, right? So buy signal came in at 30, it's at 34, uh, but look at your weekly, all right? So start looking at your weekly, guys. Look at this, good markdown phase on your weekly, good support, right? Remember, every candle has a week's worth of data, so that's really strong support down here. And look here, we got a big, green candle coming in right now okay so good confirmation buy signal right here we'll add this one why why uh, in our bull master that's gone all right z u m z z u m z all right we're not in this one here let's take a look at risk reward Markdown phase, not a bad markdown phase. Guess what? All right on the weekly, still have red candles, so we can't touch this. All right, sellers could come back in, guys. You know this, you guys know this, and move it, continue to move it down in the markdown phase. So we've got to wait. All right, wait for this one here. And if you notice here, these buy signals have been failing. All right, so there's a good chance this buy signal here. I know it might make it out of there, but it, there's a good chance it might fail, right? So this one failed, two, three, four, and then this is the fifth buy signal here. So uh, don't we don't want to take a chance with that, all right? All right. All right. Uh, so that's it for Bull Master. Let's take a look at Stock Boss, and then we'll be done. Uh, again, um, We'll send out later this evening the picks because uh, I, I want us to get through um, stocks because we didn't go through. We went to Stock Boss, got the picks for Stock Boss last night, but not Bull Master. So, uh, and we should be solid in in the shorts for the. Um, uh, I did see some dollar shorts uh, came in today too, and some euro long. So we'll send that. We'll send those out later. Um, after the after the training for you guys, okay, all right. Now uh, stock boss. Let's see how many in stock boss. And I'm gonna run it. So 91, not bad. All right. So let's same thing here. Okay, same thing. Uh, we're looking for buy signals that came in today. So again, our stock boss traders. Bull master traders, make sure you guys are taking these your trades. All right, that's gone. Looking for new buy signals that came in uh, today. I want to show you guys something here. You see here. When you have a buy signal here, so moving forward, when you when we do the update and you have your weekly time frame, do this right here. When you have a weekly, and I know some of you guys do that with um, the US 30. We do that with some of our other systems. But like I said, we're going to start doing it with um, perhaps all our systems, right? Um, see here, when you have a buy signal here on that daily, buy signal here on that weekly, green candles, that's really good confirmation. Now, I'm not saying you can go 
crazy, right, with your capital. But it's more confirmation, especially when the you know, when we see the Dow, S and P, Nasdaq, all buy signals. Yeah, you know, you might you can put a little bit more capital to work, right? Don't go crazy, but that's really good confirmation when we have that. All right. Very choppy, guys. Very choppy there. We're looking for new buy signals. Again, stock boss, $10 and lower. All right. Um, this looks good here. CDLX. Uh, CDLX. All right. We're not in this one here. Uh, let's bring this down. Nice markdown phase, guys. Look at this. Good risk reward. This should be, you guys should be all over this. All right. Buy signal. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it fell from 132, $132, guys. Trading buy signal came in today at 862. You got really good support at around, well, you got really good support here. All right, at 560 or so, then you got further support down here. But really, look here, really good support down here. So if you got in here, you can put a stop loss or wait for your system. Your protection is there. But look at your reward if it works out, right? Risk reward. Look at that potential there. All right. And then look at your weekly time frame. Okay, so let's take a look at that weekly. All right, let's take a look at that weekly time frame. All right, so a little bit more work, but guess what? A few extra seconds. Look at that. Good support down here. Look at that. Look where it fell from, guys. Good support. And guess what? We got a white candle this week. All right, white candle here this week, right at, at resistance right here. We break through here. We got a green candle. And all of a sudden, this is moving up again. Okay, so um, good one here. All right, so... Uh, C D L X, and that is in uh, Stock Boss. All right. So let's go through these and then we'll be done. Right, G and T. Look here, red candles, guys. No white candle, no green candle, no buy signal. All right, we'll let it go. A very choppy chart. This is Kodak, but look at that, guys. Not very good. Not a very good chart. So we'll pass. <laughs> All right. Red candles there. That can, can certainly continue down the markdown phase there. All right, so M N M D M N M D. All right, that's in stock boss. All right, we have a buy signal, right? Buy signal right here, guys, moving higher. Nice markdown phase, okay? And then guess what? We have a buy signal right here, all right? <laughs> Oh, you can hardly see it. Buy signal right here on the weekly time frame. Big candle. All right. Big candle there. 
So buyers are coming in on that weekly. They're coming in on that daily. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the weekly here. Not that we're going to trade on the weekly, but look at this. All right, good support down here. Look at that, guys. Look what happened the last time, right? So guess what? No guarantee that will. But guess what? Buy signal came in right here, right? We get a great big green candle. You know, traders are watching these levels. So, all right. So, MNMD. <clears throat> All right, this is a decent one here. PS and Y. All right, buy signal came in um, earlier this week. Let's see here. All right, um, look at the weekly, guys. Right, look at the weekly here. Keep an eye on this one, though. Right. Um, it would be nice to have more confirmation, all right? Um, we do have, what we don't want is sellers to come back in. We'll pass on this one here. We'll pass. We'll pass. There are better trades here. There are better trades. Okay. All right, RSI, uh, let's take a look at the markdown phase. All right, good markdown phase, guys. Look at that. All right, all right. Buy, see, uh, the high was at 21. It's trading at three, $3.71. Good support down here, so good protection, right, for your trade. Buy signal is right here, breaking resistance. Oh, come on, I keep. Breaking resistance right here. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. So we know the daily looks good. All right, let's take a look at the weekly. All right, good support here on the weekly. Big white candle here, all right? So buyers are starting to come in. All right, so this is a good one here. RSI, RSI uh, in uh, Stock Boss. Just a few more and we'll be done. All right, guys, that's it. All right, let's move this back. All right, let's take a quick look at an eye on those overnight and tomorrow they're holding fine there isn't a concern there okay but you know whenever you trade in right um these systems right you, oh, you know always keep an eye i know some of you are trading you know you're trading you know a good amount of capital too so always you know keep an eye on them Okay, uh, uh, a good, a good, uh, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I think it was Tylak who said, David, you, you're always up. And I, I usually, I'm, I'm usually always up, right? Because um, these markets are 24 hour markets. So, you know, um, you know, I'll do an alarm. I'll put an alarm at, um, um, at around 4 a.m., right? Sometimes, you know, I'm up at, you know, two or three. Think if things are moving right, um, but four four a.m. is a good good you know and and you know I, I know you know you have to work and everything, but if you're trading four x and especially if you're trading the futures right, um, you know like the U.S. thirty you know 
uh four four o'clock is a good time that's when things really start moving or, or even five o'clock um five o'clock it's you know a, a lot of the moves are already in, in in place all right but you know uh you can wake up at five right i've been doing this for a long time so i'm used to it and you know just check check your check things out and then just if things are fine just go back to sleep no big deal all right uh, you can put your stop losses if you want to do that too. But just make sure, um, who was it? Um, Gary got stopped out. Just make sure when you put your stop losses, if you're going to put a stop loss, guys, right, put it right, put, put it below your your uh, support areas. All right. So US uh, here's the US 30 here. All green candles holding nicely, guys. We do have a purpose support and resistance, but that doesn't mean it can't move higher. Okay, and again, we're looking for the US study to break through that resistance. Okay, so we got a big pop today. You guys saw that big candles came in today. Okay, so they, you know, they want to move this, they want to move it. All right, so and we're not far off that resistance there. And same for the NAS, right? Good trade here, right? Like I said, it was a little scary here, right? This is where sellers came in before, but we call this one, I think we called it about right here right really needed it to get past that trend line here so which it did we called it right about here before that big break higher so those of you who trade in the nas 100 and this was our first trade with this new system okay so hey good trading so far all right uh, on the daily time frame right good price action here and uh getting ready to break resistance here so we could see these go well right do really really well okay all right guys um what time is it all right perfect perfect um uh watch your trade well okay don't over trade don't over there's a lot of opportunities okay trade the multiple systems especially our us 30 all right our nas 100 traders trade you know there's no reason why uh, we can't be in the shorts, right? The shorts here, right? In the yen pairs and the shorts here in the dollar pairs, all right? Okay, so, uh, you know, I know we all have our favorite systems, okay? But, um, you, you know, take, take advantage of these other moves, okay? I mean, look at these moves here, all right? And these yen pairs have been moving really, really high, really fast, okay same thing here right in monster scalper here is the short here on pound yen all right here is it here by the time this is the daily here by the time if this turns white gets us a white candle or even a red candle here boy we could be all the way down here okay so um so again we'll we'll start doing these up upgrades right on monster scalper bull master all right, Monster Scalper, Bullmaster, Forex Dominator, and Stock Boss uh, next week. So um, we'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know um, when we're ready to do those, okay? But just just remember to do that. Um, we'll keep you uh, Just remember that we're going to make those changes, all right? All right, guys. Oh, another thing, too, that we're doing, right, with Monster Scalper. I like this. I've talked about, you guys know, we've talked about this for a while, separating these where we have the Aussie, the Asian pairs, right? Right, the, the markets that are starting, that opened up this evening, Aussie, New Zealand, and yen pairs, right? They're separated now. And then we have the dollar, euro, all right? And then the pound pairs down here. So when these are red, we know some markets are really doing well, right? Really have some really nice volatility. When all these are red, and then all these are blue, or vice versa all these are blue going up all these are red all right now it's a bit mixed okay but we, we're gonna separate those there give us more visibility um, um i'm gonna track really track it um much better not that the old process wasn't great right this is i think better okay all right guys what's that i just want to get a screenshot of that that's yeah i missed that uh, that then yeah that's pretty cool right yeah yeah i like that yeah 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 really really cool um you know this is the first update well we've done some updates with monster scalper 
Um, and boom, this is the first update, I think a decent update that we've done in probably 10 years, or at least about eight years, okay? So um, it's not a major, I mean, we, we just add in, right? Add in another chart here. Uh, and then we, we change in this here. It's not a major change, but it's an important change, I think, uh, to give us um, just better trades, just much better trades, and, um, uh, and, and give us some comfort level, right? Comfort level. If, you know, with this short signal here on the pound yen, all right, you know, we see a white candle coming in here. That's really good. If we get a red candle here, a red candle, um, and we're already in that on the 240 here, we get a red candle. Oh, that's just really good confirmation, right? I mean, there's no guarantee that's going to collapse, move lower, but boy, once we get selling coming in on the daily and we are already in on the 240, it, it just really helps, all right? And we can, we can sleep better at night knowing that we're on the right side of the trend, okay? All right. All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, we're going to do a 5 p.m. class, all right? It's my birthday tomorrow, so my wife is taking me out, all right, to have a good steak. I love a good all steak. Right. Happy, birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Dean. All right. So um, we'll have class from um, 5 to 6, 5 to 6 p.m., all right? 5 to 6 p.m. I'll send it out so that everyone knows. Okay, um, but um, good job, guys. Right, stay with your US 30 trade, that's a lot of money. Okay, that US 30 NAS 100, right? Those, those are really you know good systems when you trade them well, when they run well, you can do really, really well. But we have to stay in the trades, right? We have to stay in those trades, so make sure you're staying in them. Right, just be patient with them. Uh, all right. Um, so and you know, we'll send out alerts and messages to help you stay in those trades. Okay, so just pay attention to those. Um, there are big things happening, right? Um, so the Dow, like I said here, the Dow, we're looking to break through. Here's the Dow on the weekly time frame, looking to break through that resistance. Here is the all-time highs right here. We're not far from the all-time highs, all right? Here is the NASDAQ. Look at the NASDAQ, right? This on the weekly time frame, guys, heading straight up. Look at the S&P, right? Heading straight up. Here's the all-time highs on the S&P. <laughs> That's how close we are to the all-time highs, the all-time highs, okay? And then here's the Russell. The Russell is breaking out of this right here, this, this triangle right here. Here is the price action, right? Breaking out right now. This is this week. So if it breaks out anymore, we could get a buy signal on the Russell also, all right? Which all these buy signals came in 2020. So pay attention. It's a great market. You guys know this. Those of you who've been with us for a while, right? Tie lag, you know this, right? We, we, you know, we don't get opportunities like this every day. So take advantage. I know everyone is busy. Right, but take advantage of these moves. Okay. All right, guys. I've I've gone over. I've talked too much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Uh, remember five, five, five to six, but I'll send out um messages for you guys. All right. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye bye.